Hi, in this video I will show you the difference between different motion tracking points. In case you missed it, I made a small test video using Blender's 2.8 camera motion tracking software. Here you can see some 3D ponies which look as if they were actually in my desk, but in fact they were never there. And if you look closer enough, you can see the tracking points here, these black and white things, or well, black points on a white piece of paper. In this video, these are the three motion tracking points that we will be testing. Crosses, points, circles, and Illuminati triangles. <laughs> For the test, I used the camera, the GoPro Hero 5 Black, and did the same camera path all the time. I then went ahead and recorded several videos. I used different FOVs, but found that the best one was the Lino one. I may make a video on the best camera settings to use for this, but I'm not sure if that will ever come to see the light of day, so just stay tuned in case it does. Here I then proceeded to record two videos for each type of motion tracking point. I placed three sheets of paper, made sure they were aligned. It's not really important that they're aligned, but they will make jobs, uh, it will make the job easier later on. And I will let you see more or less how the path looks like. And the same thing goes for the other trackers, for the circles and for the Luminati triangles. From the two videos for each point, for each motion tracking point, though I would just call them points because I don't want to be saying that all the time, I then chose the best looking one and set them here. I then imported them to Blender and did all the tracking and here are the results. For the points, they all stayed up till the end, giving an overall result of 0.89 solve error. Now you don't really need to know what this exactly is, but you do need to know that the lower the better. In this case triangles gave us 0.981. These were the settings I used for the tracking, which were kept the same throughout the testing. I also placed a marker on each one of the circles. Next one comes the crosses. Yes, the crosses. Again, did the same thing, placed a tracking marker on each one of the markers. And I also tried making these search boxes smaller, but that just gave worse results. So this time they didn't give us as good results as the points did. Some of the markers didn't last till the end, giving an overall error solve error of 1.46. And lastly, we got the triangles. This one gave had a surprisingly solve error of only 0.46. Note that I didn't do any refinements on any of the videos. By, ref by refinements, I mean that I could have enabled the info for each tracker and then deleted the ones with the highest error giving an, an overall um, lower solve error. But I just didn't do that for the third test's sake. I also kept the same tracking settings for each one of those. The conclusions being that for this testing, having the same camera motion for each one of the motion tracking points, the triangles had the best result. Now, this doesn't mean that the triangles are the best motion tracking points that are out there. This just means that for this specific camera path that I did here, these were the best ones. Depending on the scenery, different motion tracking points may be better than others. But in this test, the triangles were the clear winners. I will try to make future videos showing different camera paths and of course di different motion tracking point placements, for example on the walls, or more separated, bigger, smaller, to see what effect that has on the solver results. So stay tuned in case those go out and see you in the next one.